So I was wrong about the bus. He's going on an airplane because in the next scene, his friend's driving him to the airport and he's waiting until the last minute to call his parole officer to check and see if the travel voucher goes through. And his parole officer isn't taking any crap. Basically says the same thing. You waited to the last minute. Um, you don't, you don't have a return ticket. And that's when Derek's like, I, you know, I sent it over and I guess the, the parole officer says he'll call back and hangs up the phone. And then that's when his friends start asking him what, you know, what he's going to be doing and everything. And that's when he says he's going to go propose to Monique up there. And his friends are actually a lot more better and just treat Monique a lot. seems like they treat his relationship with Monique a lot more better than his, his sister does. And he even says that even his friends, dad's side of the family they like Monique and everything so they his other side of the family just has issues so they basically wait for the phone call that's when his um, parole officer calls back tells him that the travel voucher is approved but he needs to check in and pick up the phone anytime he calls and no no you know bull crap better happen so um and I think that's going to have to play in in next week's episode. Like somehow his parole officer either calls and Monique thinks it's another girl or maybe he doesn't answer and he gets in trouble. But I, I, for some reason, I think it's going to play into next week's episode. So he ends up getting on the plane and that's all we see from this week. Um, not really any Monique or anything in there. Nothing, nothing with any, any juicy parts. So... We'll basically see them next week. Got a little bit of an episode. Not that much. But hey, like, subscribe, share. Y'all have a great day. Hi, welcome to Raunchy Reality Recaps. Today we're back with Monique and Derek from Life After Lockup. Now the last episode was the aftermath of the brawl that they had with uh, Derek and Monique and Monique's sisters and then Elizabeth and Aubriana and Elizabeth's buttless pink ninja outfit i don't know how to describe describe it besides that but anyways that was the aftermath and then it's been like a few months i think since then derek apparently got off a of house arrest he still has to get a travel voucher approved um but he's packing up to leave to go see monique and monique calls i'm sorry i think he calls her lets her know that he's coming and he tells her that he just got a travel voucher approved a few minutes before so i don't understand why he's lying about that makes no sense just tell her that you're still waiting on it so anyways he gets off the phone with her and goes into his kitchen to go see his grandma now his grandma's sitting there sweet lady packed lunch and everything for him and she asked him about the travel voucher and he told her that he's still waiting on it so i don't understand why he just lies to monique so he ends up telling his grandma that he's going to marry Monique. And that's when his grandma looks like she's about to faint and sits down real quick. And she tells him, she's like, you know you're going to have to be committed. And grandma knows. Grandma knows her grandson is un is unfaithful as all get out. And he ain't, he, I mean, he's just lied to Monique for no reason. And now you want to go marry the girl? So anyways, that's, um... That's when Derek ends up planning on leaving to go to, I guess, the bus station to go and see Monique.